Okay, so letter A should be pretty straightforward, right? You just did that in the previous problem. It's just one of the simple PEs to KEs. Okay, so we're getting for the V at point A. Okay, 6.26, so that's how fast it's moving right before hitting the ground, 6.26 meters per second. Okay, then it's going to bounce back up. How are we going to solve for B? Yeah, Matt? Right, so we're bouncing up this way, so we're just going to think of it. I mean, imagine I just said you threw a ball with some unknown velocity and it goes a height of 1.5. How fast was it moving? Well, you would solve it in the same way, right? Except in this case, our E initial is right here, which would be kinetic. So we'd say, all right, the kinetic at point B should equal the potential at the top. Or here, maybe we'll call this one the initial I, this one the final F. So what is the potential energy at the final? All right, so you just do it the same way. Except we'll use 1.5 for our height. Now we'll know we probably did it right because what should be true about this V compared to this V? It should be less, right? It's not going as high. We're losing some energy. The V should be less. Five point something? Four, three? Two. So we'll call that VB. Okay, letter C, energy lost. Okay, so at this point, um, you actually have ma many options to do it. So we are going to do E initial equals E final. Question is, what's our initial, what's our final? Well, you can make the initial here and the final here, so between I and B. You can make it between A and B. You can make it between A and F or you can make it between I and F. It doesn't matter as long as your initial is before the bounce and your final is after the bounce because most of the energy gets lost in the bounce, in the collision. So however you want to do it is fine. You'll get the same answer either way. Uh, I personally like to just go from the very beginning to the very end. So that's how I'm going to do it. So I'm going to go PE, the very beginning, PE, <coughs> the very end and then this is going to be less than this right we're going to start with more energy than we ended with so we're going to add a, another term E lost so MGH at the very beginning should equal MGH at the very end plus E lost Now be careful, you cannot cancel mass. Okay, notice it's only in two of the three, not all three. Okay, so 200 grams, what do we have to do with 200 grams? Convert that, yeah. So that's going to be uh, 0.2 times 9.8 times 10 to the 2 and 0.2 times 9.8 times 1.5. What was our starting energy? What was our ending energy? Nine four? Mm -hmm. yeah. So it looks like we lost almost exactly one joule.
So it's at 98. Okay. Um, all right, so let's look at question D. So here's question D. What if, what if I was a basketball player and I want to dribble the ball? If I were just to do this and dribble the ball, what's going to happen? Okay, I'm going to lose the ball, right? Because it's not bouncing back to my hand. So what do I want to do to actually get the ball to go back to my hand? We're going to push it down, right? So we're going to take the ball, we're going to push it down, we're going to give it some velocity to start with to make sure that it goes back up to our hand. Okay? So that's going to be the last question, letter D. I think I'll put it right here. So letter D, how much velocity Uh, is needed to bounce back to the two meters. So we want it to go back up to our two meter height. Okay, so I'm going to give you a chance to see if you can figure this out on your own.